Are you still managing your projects in Google Sheet? Well, it probably started out simple, but over time it got slow, clunky, chaotic, and hard for others to use. In this video, I'll show you how to turn that spreadsheet into a clean, easy to use app without rebuilding anything from scratch. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get set up and automated using industry leading portals, apps, and integrations. A lot of teams are using Google Sheets because it's free, flexible, and easy to get started. But once you've got more than a few team members, multiple projects, or clients involved, things start to get far too messy. You end up with broken formulas, duplicate data, and a setup that nobody wants to touch, let alone rely on. And that's where a platform like Zite comes in. So in this video, I'll show you how to turn that exact spreadsheet the one you're already using to manage your projects into a clean, professional, and easy to use internal app. We're talking better visibility, fewer errors, more collaboration, and an easy to use interface. And you don't have to rebuild your database, your process, or migrate your data over to a paid plan. This isn't just a visual upgrade. It's about making your team faster, your workflow clearer, and your data more usable. So let's dive in. Today, we're going to be using Zite to turn a real Google Sheet, just a basic project tracker, into a fully functional internal tool. I'll show you how to connect your sheet, design a clear interface your team can actually use, and even set up custom views for things like task status, deadlines, and client updates. No coding and no rebuilding. We recently created a video on how you could turn your Google Sheet into a CRM. So if you're eager to learn how you can achieve that with Zite, well, make sure to check out that video here. But let's dive in. So here we are in our fill out or our Zite dashboard. Now I'm gonna make sure to leave a link in the description so you can get access to these. They offer a freemium plan. So there's no excuse for you not to get started today. Diving straight in, we're going to create an app. Now, the great thing about fill out is it's an all-in-one solution for your forms, your scheduling, and now your app building. If you haven't heard about Vibe Coding, well, you want to take a look at this video where we dive into an explanation of what it is and how you can utilize it to help your team get more done. So let's not waste any time and actually build out this project tracker. So we're selecting an app and now all we need to do is prompt AI to build that for us. You could go something incredibly simple like build me a project tracker and then send that off. Zite is gonna work its magic and build you a project tracker that you can then bring your data, your team and your workflows into. And here we have it. Zite has generated our basic project tracker. So here we can see we've got no projects yet. We've got a top bar navigation and we've got the ability to create a new project. We'll enter the project name, description, status, progress, and due date, and then we'll create it. So here we can see we've got project one I just quickly created. Currently it's at zero progress. We can update the actual status down below and we can see the due date. If we select this, we're able to delete it, but that's about it. We can't even select it to open up. So yeah, Zite was able to build this very simple project tracker for us. But like I always say, your AI generation is only as powerful as your AI prompt. So let's take a look at a Google Sheet that you might use to manage your projects and see how we can use that to generate and build a fully fledged project tracker that our team will actually use. So here we have a project tracker built in Google Sheets. Now this is only on one worksheet and I've worked with plenty of clients that have multiple worksheets and far too much chaos. Worksheet for each department, worksheet for each project, worksheet for each client. An issue there is the Google Sheet just simply isn't a relational database platform. Yes, we can connect and include all of our data on the single spreadsheet, but let's say that you've got 100 plus clients or 100 plus projects or multi cross-functional departments. Having everything in your Google Sheet just isn't sustainable or viable. And that's where we look to a tool like Zite to be able to help us quickly build a unique and customize app. So here we're managing our projects and we want to move everything over to Zite. So we're jumping into the Zite Builder and what we're going to do is we're going to describe what we want. Now, rather than just giving it a simple prompt, we're actually going to get deeper into detail to ensure that the final product we get from Zite is something we can actually use straight away. Now, before we send off this prompt, I want to let you know that with Zite, you do have the ability to add an image, which is really helpful for when you've found an app or a tool out there and you want to have a similar structure. Zite does a really good job of viewing that and building something something similar, as well as even grabbing the colors and branding from it. When it comes to the theme, well, this is a new feature offered by them. You can jump in before it begins its build and ask it to use one of these particular themes. Yes, they are limited, but at least you don't have to jump in and make multiple iterations after the generation to get it to look the way you want. 
And beyond that, we've got multiple tools that we can actually connect to our Zite platform, which we'll mention later. Let's get this prompt going. So I've written, I have a Google sheet, each with columns like project name, client status, yada, yada. It's currently cluttered and hard to manage. We're telling it the problem. I want to turn it into a clean internal project tracking tool that my team can actually use. Here's what I want Zite to do. Layout and structure. Show all projects in Kanban view, group by status. Add a table view. I've also asked it to show a calendar view for project timelines. The functionality, this is super important here. I want to allow team members to filter by their name or the assignee, high or urgent priorities, overdue tasks, display a visual progress bar based on a percentage completed, and add conditional color coding for urgent tasks, overdue projects, and so on and so forth. I've also got a bonus section there that allows it to convert dependencies, enable simple updates like changing status or adding new team notes. That's pretty simple, but we want to ensure it does that. Create a summary dashboard, total active projects. We've also got number of overdue tasks, time logged versus estimated. And I'm pretty happy with that. You could go deeper, but let's see what Zite is gonna generate for us. Okay. And we can see here that it's begun generating the app for us, but because we mentioned that we had a Google Sheet, well, it wants to actually connect our existing data. Now, I will also mention that Zite offers internal databases that you can use. This is great because there's no middle connection that will connect your database to the Zite app builder. However, currently those database fields are limited and you definitely don't have Excel style formula functions that you get within Google Sheets. So we're gonna connect our Google Sheets here. We'll select the account that we want to connect it to. We're going to select next, and then that'll bring up all of the spreadsheets we have within that account. So once I've selected that Google Sheet, it'll show me the columns that we have available, and we'll select done. Now Zite's gonna go ahead and automatically sync our Google Sheet to the app that it's generating. Now, the way that Zite handles its pricing differs from what you would usually expect of a work management or app building platform. Rather than charging you per user per month, you're actually given credits that enable you to do this build. Now, each time that you prompt Zite to either create an app or update particular elements, well, you're gonna be using credits. Now, before we continue, I have to let you know that the freemium plan does have its limitations in regards to how many credits you get access to. Yes, you could set a Zite app live, but if you really want to get the most use out of this platform, well, you're going to have to jump up to one of the entry level tiers. The difference is here that once you begin using that app building platform, you're not locked in to your subscription. You can easily export the app that you've built and then serve it wherever you'd like. However, if you are utilizing the login functionality in Zite databases, well, you are gonna be stuck on that pricing. And here we can see that we've had that project tracker generated utilizing the data in our Google Sheets. So here we can see we've got the project tracker. This is a nice and neat home dashboard. Let me go full screen so you can see what we've got here. We've got active projects, 24, overdue tasks, 30. That's not good. Time logged, we're looking at 2,060 hours of 2,344. Oh, that's quite heavy. We've got the ability to search projects. Let's see if this actually works. Let's go, I remember a H7, cool. What about if we wanna search by client, bright? No, it's specifically gonna be those project titles. Well, in this instance, that's where you would jump back into the prompt and ask it, hey, instead of those search terms solely being the project ID or the project title, let's also enable the app to search the client, to search the task name. We've also got the ability to filter by member, which is something that we are. So if we wanna see all of the project or tasks for Alex, here we can see it. We've got the ability to filter by priority and only show the overdue tasks that we currently have. We'll select and exit that. We've also got that nice and neat Kanban board. However, we can see that we're not able to currently drag across our tasks. Again, that's something that we're gonna to have to jump in and prompt Zite to update. We've also got the table view or the grid view. Nice and neat, those progress bars are injected there. However, I'll need to check that these are not just randomly generated values and they actually do relate to the progress or the status of each project. We've also got the ability for the calendar view. Here we can see Sunday the 1st all the way to the 30th. We're able to see which projects are falling on that date. Two more, two more. From here, let's jump back to the Kanban and actually open up one of our projects. Here we can see we've got project B1, Lux Lab, Jay Partel, the status, let's set it to on hold. This project is overdue. We see this bad boy appear, complete. 
It's still saying overdue for some reason. Again, we're going to have to jump in and prompt to update that. We've got priority, the time that it's taken, the assigned team member, and some notes. Now, currently, we can't actually edit any of these values directly from the project tracker, which is something that we would definitely want to update. We want our team to jump into this and actually manage and complete their work from it. So the fact that they can't actually include any details, that's a no-go. And while discussing having our users, our team members jump in and complete their work, well, we need to actually include login verification and authorization. So I'm simply just gonna prompt, I need login for my users. And we'll see what occurs there. And here we can see a modal's popped up to add login authentication. So I'm gonna select that. And we're just going to use a Zite database to manage our users, the people that actually have access. So while that designs a database, I just quickly wanna mention here that while you might manage your users within your Zite database, you're going to have some discrepancies in regards to which people are actually assigned to tasks in your Google Sheet. So here we can see that it's actually asked us to create a projects table. We don't want that. We want to manage our projects directly in our Google Sheet. So we're just gonna create users. Now here we've got the email and the name. Let's create a database. Now we wait for the login or user database to be created in Zite. I just wanna show you the updates that I quickly implemented. Here we can see that we can now actually drag our cards across our Kanban board. We can now also see that our viewers, our users have access to actually update the project tracker and get their work done. And we've also included a Gantt chart that enables our team to get a better visual of the projects that are currently in action, coming up, and allow them to better allocate their resources. So here we can see that we've got the email and the name. If we actually share and publish our app, and then we open this up, we'll be taken to a login verification screen. We can either sign in with Google, use a magic link, or if an account isn't already connected, one of these we can see here, well, we'll actually be prompted to sign up and create an account. So I'm just gonna quickly put in my email and jumping back into the Zite database, we can see that this has now been added. The cool thing about building your internal tools and apps for Zite is the possibilities are limitless. You build a project tracker, Next, you could connect that to your CRM. You could take your project tracker and bring in dashboards and client-facing portals. You have the ability to white label your app and show your clients and customers that you're professional, tech savvy, and ready to hit the ground running. Beyond the app, we also have our workflows. Now, this is where we actually connect to our database or our Google Sheet. We are updating a project and we are getting all our projects from our app. We saw that we are now able to update the details and the data within our Zite app, which is going to automatically reflect on our Google Sheet. And I quickly want to mention Zite's Marketplace, which is a template library that enables you to get up and running with quick and beautiful templates built by the Zite team and their partners. If you are enticed by this and you do want to begin building your own apps, well, I'm going to share with you in the link of the description and up here, the 10 top tips you can use to start building with Zite. Well, I hope that was a helpful video on how you can use a platform like Zite to quickly generate internal tools and front-facing apps for your team and your business. If you want to learn how you can get your business set up and automated using app builders like Zite, Airtable, and Softer, then don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where a team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.